Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing you out my NBA Jam session on March 25th, 2023, man. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets can be found over at PickDogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can also find all my bets for today's action, including my $15 NBA Jam Session play, which we did have a winner on last night with the Thunder Buddies, the Cover Buddies, man. What a sweat that was, but my guy Giddy put it back. The Lou Dort missed three. Put it back for the cover, man. I hope y'all got that five and a half because I sure did. And I needed that half point, man. It's the NBA sometimes. Love to see that. Got the cover. Hey, I'm going to try to go back to back on that $15 NBA Jam Session play. Scoop up today's link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ and check out my live show. I'm live right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, as I run through the card one more time. Bring on a guest. We uh, try to cook up a parlay for y'all at the end of the show as well, which we did cash on yesterday. Me and my guy Chris Ruffalo cooked up a nice three-teamer, Bucks, Warriors, and uh, who was the last one? Bucks, Warriors, who was the last leg? Bucks, Warriors, oh, duh, the Thunder Buddies, man. They got it done for us, man. So, nice little three-team parlay yesterday, man. Come tune in with us on that live show. I'm live every day, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. Um, I'll be there today. We got six games on the card today. Y'all know we're going to try to smash those per usual. So let's make some money tonight in the NBA. Let's try to keep this momentum rolling forward. Uh, we got some college hoops today, man. I might be a little active in college hoops today. Shout out them horns, man, as they got it done yesterday as well. Final four bound, maybe, man. I got a huge futures ticket on them guys winning the winning it all. So hopefully they come through for me on that, man. But Let's make some money on a Saturday, man. Not the biggest card, but some meat on the bone. Y'all know we're going to try to smash it per usual. Without further ado, let's try to do just that, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Indiana Pacers. They're out on the road facing the Atlanta Hawks, man. Hawks are laying nine, total 240. Interesting game, man. I know I don't want to lay nine with the Hawks in this one. That's what I do know. Uh, I just haven't seen anything that's warranted this nine, so... I kind of like the Pacers plus the nine. And I think the Pacers are also getting their engine back, their best player, their all-star back tonight in Tyrese Halliburton, man. We've already seen the Pacers keep both games this season uh, really competitive. They actually won the first one, 129-114 on the 27th of December. And they w lost the second one but kept it close, 113-111 on the 13th of January. The Hawks, man, they've only won two of their last five. Granted, they did win both of those at home by a decent margin. Beat up on the Pistons, 129-107, and beat the Warriors at home, 127-119. But the other three is what gives me concern to even look in the direction of the Hawks in this one. Loss on the road to Minnesota by one. Loss on the road to San Antonio, 126-118. Loss at home. Got took by a shed at home, honestly, by Minnesota, 136-115. I don't want to lay this nine with Atlanta here in this one. I'm also seeing uh, Trey Young and De uh, DeAndre Hunter on this injury report as questionable game time decisions. Maybe we have a little more information about this one uh, on my live jam session, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. Uh, maybe we have a little more information on it in that spot on whether Trey Young and uh, Hunter are playing. But as of right now, I'm leaning Pacers, man. They should be able to keep this one uh, competitive like they've done the two previous meetings this season. Uh, it's not the best spot for the Pacers. It's their fifth road game in their last six games, but they also got road wins over Toronto and road wins over Milwaukee in this last five games. So it's a streaky team in their own right. They also got hammered at home by Philly, lost on the road to Charlotte, and got hammered on the road by Boston in this span. So it's a tightly contested game, though. I do think Halliburton back is a morale boost for this Pacers team, and I do think they can keep this one within single digits. I'm going to take the Pacers plus the nine here in our first matchup of the night. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Brooklyn Nets out on the road facing the Miami Heat. Miami, home favorites, laying five and a half, total 222. Miami, let's give them some credit, man. They've been playing great basketball recently. They've won four of their last five, have put themselves right back in the playoff race, man, uh, have their whole season to play for, and I'll say have been playing better basketball on their home floor. They're not just an automatic fade on at home like they were at the beginning of the year. We were making tons of money just automatically fading this Miami Heat team on their home floor. 
Uh, the Nets, they're struggling, man. They've lost five straight, including four straight home games. Now they find themselves back out on the road. I will say they did play a pretty tough schedule in their last five, man. The Thunder Buddies, uh, who they lost to out on the road. Then they came home for four straight games and played a really, really tough schedule. Sacramento, who we know has been absolutely in that mode coming out of the All-Star break. Denver still the best team in the West. And Cleveland in back-to-back games, man. And Cleveland, I'm telling you how they're a dark horse to come out of that East. I like Cleveland a lot. I think they match up really well with a lot of those Eastern Conference teams. Brooklyn needs a bounce-back game, man. And I, I've, I'm going to grab the points with them here in this one. I'm going to fade Miami on their home floor like I've done for majority of the season. I know at the top I said they've been playing better basketball at home. But I do think that uh, probably cools off a bit. I do think we see emphasis on this game from this Brooklyn Nets team. This Brooklyn Nets team still has plenty to play for. Uh, they're not out of it. They're in the playoffs. Not even the play-in. They're in the playoffs, man. I think uh, they they click it on at the right time. They'll be just fine. I could see this as a perfect bounce-back game. I would not be surprised at all if Brooklyn won this game straight up on the money line. Believe it or not, they have won both meetings between this Heat team this season uh, on the 8th of January, 102-101. I do know that that was the uh, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving Nets, and uh, the Nets won the second meeting as well, 116-105. That was not the Kevin Durant-Kyrie Nets. That was Mikael Bridges and them. Mikael went for 45 in that game as they beat up on them in Brooklyn. I think the Nets have enough to keep this one competitive, man. The Miami Heat are still the worst home cover team in the entire NBA. We love fading the Heat, man. Uh, they've been playing better basketball, but I can see today possibly being a flat spot. The Nets needing this game a little more on this terrible losing streak that they're on. I think they put some real emphasis on this game. Keep it competitive and mess around and win it outright, man. I'm taking the Nets plus five and a half in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the game of the day. I'm excited for this one. This is going to be an extremely great game today. We got the Bucks on the road facing the Denver Chicken Nuggets, man. Denver home favorites laying two and a half, total 235. Denver has started to look better, man. They've now won three of their last four. Um, you know, they're coming off a long road trip, which does give me a little pause for some concern. We know that first home game back after a long road trip can typically be a flat spot. Um, the Bucks coming into this one, they've been playing great basketball as well. They've won four of their last five. The Bucks also won the only meeting between these two teams this season, 107-299 on the 25th of January in Milwaukee. This will be the final matchup bet between these two teams. Could very well be a finals preview. Do I think it will be? No, I don't think so. If I'm going to be a 1,000, I don't think either one of these two teams make the finals. Could they, though? I very easily could make it, man. The Nuggets, this could be the year where they finally push through and make it. And the Bucks got the best player in the world in Giannis Antetokounmpo, who has a whistle like none other. So, of course, the Bucks can get back. But we're worried about tonight, man. And y'all already know how I'm feeling, man. If you've watched this jam session for any duration of time this season, y'all know the golden rule. The golden rule is we don't fade the Nuggets on their home floor. It's just something we don't do here on the jam session, man, I'm taking the Nuggets. I'm laying the two and a half in this one, man. The Nuggets go stupid, dummy, crazy on their home floor, man. I expect them to get their revenge tonight over this Bucks team. I don't like that they're coming off that long road trip. That does make me a little nervous. That first home game back we know can be a flat spot. But in that same breath, man, this is the Nuggets at home. We love the Nuggets at home. The Nuggets this season at home, 30 and 6. I've only lost six games at home all season uh the only team that is better than them at home is memphis memphis has gone stupid dummy crazy as well at 32 and 5 at home but i'm taking the nuggets in this one man i think they beat the bucks get their revenge and keep it rolling at home uh, let's go look at it the nuggets ats record at home is also money as they're 22 13 and 1 have covered in 62.9 percent of their games i know the bucks are in that mode man and i really don't like fading the bucks either but I've taken the Nuggets at home blindly a lot at this season. We're laying under a bucket at two and a half. I think the Nuggets get their revenge, man. I love the Nuggets at home. I think the Bucks get caught with their pants down today. And I'm taking the Nuggets to win this one. I'm following the golden rule. Nuggets, let's get this one done, man. Um, I have concerns about it being their first home game back after a long road trip. But I'm going to roll them. I'm going to stick to the golden rule. I'm laying the two and a half with the Nuggets here in this one. 
In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Philadelphia 76ers out on the road facing the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix, home favorites, laying one and a half in this one, total 227. Both teams are on a back-to-back, -back, man. They both lost yesterday as well. The Sixers got beat in Golden State, man. No surprise there. The Golden State Warriors, the most night and day team I've ever seen on the road. Automatic fade at home. Their money, man, it's just what it is. They, I think they got magnets in the rim in Chase Center. I really believe that. I don't understand how they could be this night and day. Um, it's kind of crazy. But Sixers winning their loss yesterday. Harden did not play. and B did play. Um, now they find themselves out on the road facing a Suns team. They've now dropped two of their last three. And I think if there's ever a time that the Sixers are looking a little weak, uh, looking a little fadeable, I think it's right now. And I think the Suns really, 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 really need a bounce back game as they've lost four of their last five, have really, really been struggling, man. They let me down last night. I had them on the money line against that Sacramento team. It didn't happen. I'm going to give them another shot tonight. Um, I love taking good teams to bounce back, man. Good teams always bounce back. Is it the spot where you think so? No, it's not always the spot where you think so, but Good teams do bounce back, man. The Suns are at home where we know they have historically played their best basketball, at least these last few seasons, man. They go stupid, dummy crazy at home. They're working with revenge as the Sixers did beat them in the only meeting this season on the 11th. No, on the 7th of November, man, in Philly, 100-288. It's not a great spot for the Sixers, man. It's their fifth road game uh, in their last six games. Also a road back-to-back -back. The Sixers, after a loss, they are pretty money. 15 and 8 this season, straight up. Uh, have covered, I mean, have won 65.2% of their games directly after a loss. But I think the Suns wake up. They got to wake up, man. They're only three games above 500. They could find themselves in the same position as my Mavs, who I don't want to talk about. Please do not come in my comments talking about my Mavs right now, guys. I'm emotionally hurt by that team. I kind of hope they don't even make the playoffs. So I don't even got to deal with that stress of watching that team play basketball anymore this season i'm sticking a fork in my dallas mavericks man i know that's what y'all wanted to hear and that's what you hear here man the suns are kind of in that same dangerous position if they don't uh click it in the gear i do see tonight as a possible bounce back spot for them i'm gonna give them one more chance i'm taking the suns i'll lay the one and a half with them on their home floor In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Utah Jazz out on the road facing the Sacramento Kings. Kings laying seven in this one, total 238. Both of these teams as well are coming off of back-to-backs last night. The Jazz really got hammered, man. I'm mad I didn't have that as a premium. I did give it out later on the drive-thru, and it wasn't a parlay, the Bucks. So, I won't be too mad, man. The Bucks took them boys behind the shed last night, man. 144 to 116, you know. I wanted to see that injury report for the Jazz. I wanted to see if Markin and Clarkson ended up playing. They did not. They're still on this injury report for tonight, man. It's also a terrible spot for this Jazz team, man. They just played four straight home games. They got hammered in the last two by Portland, 127-115. And we just talked about what Milwaukee did to them boys last night, 144-116. All three meetings between these two teams right here have been competitive with the Kings winning the first one on the 30th of December, 126-125 in Sacramento, one point win, and the Kings winning the second one on the 3rd of January in Utah, 117-115. Uh, the Jazz did win the last one kind of recently, uh, five days ago, actually, 128-120 uh, in uh, Utah. So, Interesting game. I do think the Kings get the revenge. Uh, all said, I think they get the revenge. I want to see the final injury report, though. I, I have uh, some concerns that Markinen and JC could be back tonight. They're still on here as questionable day to day. Y'all know the drill. I'll be back later this evening, three Central, four Eastern. Hopefully by that time we got a little news. This is a nine o'clock start time uh, for me, so we got a long time for this game to start. Hopefully we get some news before then but if they don't play i'm all over the kings and if they do play this line probably drops a little bit and we're getting a better number with the kings and i'm probably nine times out of ten still on the kings not a great spot for sacramento the kings have been absolutely in that mode coming out of the break they beat up on the suns yesterday 135 127 uh they're back at home where we know they go stupid dummy crazy uh, not fading them tonight i do see De'Aaron fox on this injury report as uh, questionable. So, again, that's another one. We'll update y'all later on the live jam session. I'll see y'all later on that one. But the lean 
right now, at this current time of day, is King's Lane of Seven. In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing the Los Angeles Clippers. Clips length five, total 224 and a half. Interesting game here. The Pelicans did win the first meeting uh, between these two teams. They hammered this Clips team in Los Angeles, 112 to 91. It was super, super early in the season on the 30th of October. So two totally different teams currently, man. That was months ago. So I'm not going to read too much into that. The Pelicans, trying to keep their season alive, man, have now won three straight basketball games, find themselves one game under 500. But I will say they haven't played nobody, bro. They, their three wins are San Antonio, Houston, and Charlotte, arguably three of the worst four teams in the league. Uh, I think the Clips beat them up tonight, man. I do. I like what I seen from the Clips in that last one against my Thunder Buddies, man. I watched that full game and watched them beat up on my guys, man. Uh, they lost to him the game before, but they came in locked in and focused that next one. They're still without Paul George. And he possibly, as I seen a report early this morning, could be out even through the first round, which is a huge blow for this Clippers team. They might not make it through that first round without him. So I hope he's on a speed of recovery. But I do think the Clips have enough, even without him, to beat up on this uh, Pelicans team. I have not liked this Pelicans team, what I've seen recently. I've already stuck the fork in them. I'm not reading too much into that three-game winning streak. Again, they beat Charlotte 115-96. That's Charlotte. They're not playing great right now. Although, let me quit hating because Charlotte beat my Mavs last night as 16-point dogs. So, we're not talking about my Mavs, though. We're not talking about my Mavs. We're not talking about my Mavs. We're not talking about my Mavs. The Spurs, they beat them as well, 119-84, and they beat up on Houston. But, again, you know, ah. Uh, I'm not feeling comfortable with the Pels. They lost on the road to the Pelicans the game before that, 114-112. Got beat pretty good by the Lakers. I think there's three-game winning uh, streak for the Pelicans. It's a little fool's gold. And they didn't play anybody. I think the Clips still have a ton to play for. I think they come in locked in and loaded, trying to play their way out of their play-in, um, trying to keep themselves out of it as well. I'm leaning Clips, laying the five. Hearing this one tonight, I love what I saw from them in that last one against the Thunder Buddies. Got the win and cover in that one. I expect them to do the same here tonight against this Pelicans team. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on March 25th, 2023, man. Thank you all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new and drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can also find all my bets for today's action, including my $15 NBA Jam Session play there as well. Man, we had a winner on that Jam Session play last night with the Thunder Buddies, the Cover Buddies, our favorite money-making team. It was a sweat, man. Came down to the final second. Giddy put it back in as time expired, damn near, man, and got the cover. Love to see that, man. I love that Thunder. I love the cover, buddies, man. I love that team. We're trying to go for two in a row tonight on that play, so scoop it up. Link in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ, man, as that's where I update y'all on late injury news and information coming out of the association. And I have a live show that does the same thing right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel every day, live, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. I usually bring on a guest. We run through the car one more time and cook up a parlay for y'all at the end. The parlay cashed yesterday, if you followed it. Me and my guy, Chris Ruffalo, cooked that one up, man. I think it was Bucks, Thunder, and Warriors. So, nice little three-teamer, man. We'll try to go back-to-back -back on the show today. I'm not sure who my guest is at this current time of day, but just come tune in. You know, I have somebody great. And we're going to try to make some money per usual. Thank y'all for watching again, man. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all later on in the day, man. Let's make some money in the NBA today, man. See y'all later. I'm out of here.